I can still remember seeing your smile at our park and ride that beautiful trade deadline day. Best Hawaiian shirts ever. Can still remember how easygoing our initial conversation was that day. Still laugh thinking about how patient you were waiting to get some food. Thanks to JT's no, no. I'll always be loyal to Brian Reynolds for walking it off and allowing me to have my last ever first kiss. Thankful we finally made it back that night after mules on the shore. A few short weeks later, we started our whole tour and now we are with sticks. What a night that was. We made it officially official started dating. The rest you could say has been history. All of the fun Marshall trips, especially Annapolis. I truly do think getting to meet your family that weekend sealed to me how special you were. Dear Blaine, well, here we are, our wedding day. Can you believe it? I wanted to make sure I write down some thoughts because, well, I'm feeling a lot of things right now. I am too. Who would have thought a simple message, great hat, great place, would lead us to this incredible day? Our first date at the Pirates game, it was quite literally the first date to end all first dates. I was so nervous all day that I couldn't eat. I felt amazing when you held my hand as we walked across the bridge to the game and I kept hoping you'd lean in over and kiss me. As the fireworks went off, you finally did, and I was over the moon. One of the things that I love about you is your gentleness. You've got this way of making everything feel calm and safe. It's like my heart knows it's found its home with you. And your compassion and generosity has shown me what real love looks like. Above all else, it's your kindness. It's your superpower. I tell people you're like the human personification of a golden retriever. We told each other I love you in October of 2021, and I did love you. I truly did. However, a new kind of love grew in me last Christmas when I read the book you wrote about all the reasons you love me. Once heard took care of business, I never got the Beals treatment from Justin. I love us. I love how well our families get along. It has felt right to me since the first day at PNC Park. Maybe even back to seeing your cute smile, sunglasses, wearing the Marco hat. So happy I said those famous four words, great hat, great place. I love how sweet you have been making me part of your family and how much you have become a part of mine over the past three, 630 days. You've given Katie the sister she never had, mom the daughter she never knew, and how lucky she was. I'm beyond excited for our journey in life together. We are truly blessed. I promise to always be there for you, baby. Love, Mr. Blind Smith. <laughs> Lucky enough to have a beautiful, kind, smart woman who will always keep me on the right path in life. I couldn't believe you had paid so much attention to me. You remember things I said that I had forgotten all about. You remembered in detail the conversation we had about our future kids' names. You knew things about me that I still don't even remember telling you. You just pay attention to me. Another thing I've loved, especially throughout the last year, is the growth that I've seen in you spiritually. Having someone share my val values, and more importantly, my faith, that's the biggest thing to me in a partner. I found that in you. I can't wait to watch you grow into the spiritual leader of our little family. As we stand here, about to take the plunge into forever, I just wanted to say how excited I am to call you my husband. I can't wait for all the adventures, the laughs, the challenges, and everything in between that we're going to face together. Thanks for being the amazing person you are and for being mine. Here's to us, to love, and to a future full of who knows what, but with you by my side. See you at the altar, baby. I love you, Kendra. Friends, we are gathered here today to worship a covenant-keeping God, and to celebrate His grace in the lives of Blaine and Kendra, and to bear witness as they enter together into the most holy covenant of marriage. Blaine, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? 
to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her and comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only to her as long as you both shall live? I will. And Kendra, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holiest state of matrimony? Will you obey him, serve him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only to him as long as you both shall live? I will. With this ring, I thee wed, and with all the treasures in my heart, my mind, and my hand, I take you as my home. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Blaine, you may kiss your bride. Thanks for being the best thing that ever happened to my best friend. You're awesome and I couldn't be happier for the two of you. If Blaine turns out to be half as good, as good at being a husband as he has been a friend to me, then you have a wonderful life ahead of you. To Kendra and Blaine. Oh,